hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i have the june recap for beauty bank and beauty bank is a little project to kind of get a grip on my spending or more so on like what i'm bringing into my collection so if i do no kind of left behind on a palette. If I use up an item, if I hit pan on an item, I will reward myself points. And if I bring in new makeup, it will cost me points. So this is sort of a way to really get me to think about if it's worth spending my hard earned points on. So as of last month, I had 21 points in my bank, which was quite good. I did not, I'm just checking my spreadsheet. So I did not spend any points for the last two months, which was good. Um, I wasn't really eyeing anything that I really wanted. So I was feeling like I was in the clear, but then shit hit the fan. I'm just gonna say it as is. Uh, yeah, it got bad. And I only have myself to thank for that. I could maybe minimize the damage that has been done, but it feels unfair. So I'm just gonna take you through what happened this month and we'll get to my total of points at the end of this video. Let's just first start with what points I earned. So for no pan left behind, I did 11 palettes. Now I do have to say, I think two or three, I actually completed last month, but I totally forgot about it until after I filmed that update. So it's whatever at the end of the day, it just all gets into my, my bank, my points. So. 11 for June, I've just put that down. Seven of those were smaller than 10 pants, so that gives me half a point each. And then six were larger than 10 pants, and that gives me one point each. So for no pan left behind, I collected seven and a half points, which is pretty good. Then for hitting pan, I hit pan in, I was gonna say five eyeshadows, I hit pan in four eyeshadows and in a highlighter. So that gives me two and a half points for hitting pants. Not a lot. I did a lot better last month, but it's okay. Um, it is what it is. Five pans still is more than zero. So two and a half points for hitting pan. And then for using items up, I actually have four items that I used up this month, which I'm very excited about. One of them is a slight spoiler for Project Pan, maybe I'm not gonna mention it. Maybe you can guess what item you think out of Project Pan that I have completely finished. But what I can share with you is I completely used up the blush that was in Project Pan. This was a Franken blush that I made from two different eyeshadows. I just count this as one point because it wasn't completely full when I started using it. And I looked back on it. It didn't take me that long to use up. So I just gave me gave myself one point. Then the other item that I used up is a mascara. I just switch out my mascaras when they get dry. Usually that is around the three month mark. Uh, this I think I used about four months, but it started to get dry on me and I decided that it was enough. So that gives me one point. Then the mystery item also gives me one point. And then the last one is an eyeshadow. I was gonna hold up the palette. It comes from my um, Pamela palette, roulette palette, this one. And I was gonna hold it up. I held it up for a thumbnail photo and one eyeshadow completely fell out. I luckily could save it but I've just removed this pan. This was the uh, Simply Beige shadow from Glam Shop. So it was just a lit setting shade. Uh, that is finished, so that also gives me 
one point in my bank. So for finishing items, I collected four points, which again, pretty good. And then something went wrong. Um, I'm gonna film a haul right after this video, so it should already be up, I'm pretty sure. If it's not yet up, it will be uploaded soon enough. So either way, I will try and link it as soon as it is live. But Colourpop, we're having a free worldwide shipping. I don't want to call it a sale. It was just free worldwide shipping, which is good. Because when I order from Colourpop, I do also have to pay import and taxes and whatever. So it's already expensive enough without the shipping. So when I saw that, I was like, I think I'm gonna order from them if they have this one palette in stock. And they did. I'm gonna give you a little hint of what palette I got. And the hint is, hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> so, if you know, you know, I got the palette because I, uh, my 16 year old me, well 16, maybe I was more like 14 when the series came out, when I read the books and the movie started to come out, I was obsessed. I was so obsessed. Um, I saw the release and I really almost got it when it first released but the cost really stopped me, not the cost of the palette, but all of the cost around that. So when they did um, free shipping, I was like, if it's in stock, I'm gonna get it. Luckily, they did a restock, so I got that. I got some other ColourPop goodies. I, was, I did pretty good there. And I thought to myself, you know what? Every time that I've brought in a palette last year, I just um, took one point from my bank and it felt unfair. So I got a few goodies, I got the palette, there's 15 shadows in there, I was like, I'm just gonna take 15 points from myself. Mind you, I had them to spare, so I was like, it's fine, I can do that. It would be fair if I bring in a palette to take out as many points as there is eyeshadows. But that was my logic, so I did that. And then it went wrong when I saw a listing on Vinted, which is like a Facebook marketplace or like a Depop or what do we have all around the world? I saw a listing for some more ColourPop palettes and two of which have been on my wish list for a while. ColourPop doesn't have them anymore. So I caved, but those palettes all had a lot of shadows, so I couldn't then say, oh, but these palettes are only going to cost me one point. And it felt bad to back down on um, not taking as many points as there are in a palette because I had already written down one and I was like, yeah, no, no, I'm just going to do it. It's gonna cost me as many points as there are in the palette. So with everything that I bought, it cost me 68 points. 68 points. And two of those points are not eyeshadows and the rest is all eyeshadows. So definitely in this project with my points i have a problem but outside of that with my eyeshadow collection i also do have a problem because why why would i add 66 eyeshadows into my collection in one month that's insane but i did again if you're curious what i got i will link the haul even though I'm a little embarrassed right now. So the total of this month, adding all of the points that I earned and taking off all of the palettes that I, uh, all of the points that I spent on palettes, my total is minus 54. Minus 54, that's a lot. So if I take that off my total, my current total is minus 33. It is what it is, I guess. It's bad. It's bad. I have been calculating how many palettes I still have left to do No Pan Left Behind on. I added a few palettes, so we're good there. 
Um, I could collect about 16 or 17 more, more points if I finish doing No Palette Behind on all of my uh, palettes. So that still leaves a lot of points that I need to collect by hitting pan or finishing items. I'm gonna have to work my butt off to make that happen and to break even at the end of the year. I'm very scared that it's not gonna happen. I'm also very scared of that because there's another palette that I've been eyeing and I really was convinced I was gonna get it but now I'm second guessing myself. I, I'm by the way thinking about getting the, it's called I think the Neutrals palette, like new and you N E U no N E W <laughs> trolls from Cosmic Brushes. Looks stunning. Do I need it? I don't know. I really would love to try Cosmic Brushes and their colorful palettes are always a little bit overwhelming for me, but there's a lot of shadows in that as well, which is going to cost me a lot of points. So I'm not sure yet. And that is all. That is all I've got to say about this month of chaos. Truly, it is chaos. I didn't think it would happen. Well, no, that's a lie. I did think at one point I would spend more points, but not this many in one month. But there you have it. This is my update. Please pray for me that I can make this better again, that I can fix my own mistakes, if you will. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will hopefully see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye!